go. All right, well, I am craving donuts this morning, and so as soon as the kids all got dressed and got their chores done, I'm like, let's go get donuts. So that's what we're doing. Which kind do you want? Um, the chocolate one with a lot of sprinkles. I like Boston cream. All right, Kayla, what kind do you want? Boston cream. Same as Big Brother. Laura, which kind do you want? Um, Boston. Hey, Laura, do you want sprinkles? Yes. We decided to get a whole dozen. Well, Laura hasn't even had a donut yet, and I swear she's on a sugar high. Like, I think she's been so tired. She's been getting up early with the daylight savings change, and so she's just exhausted already and, like, trying to stay awake. It's amazing how a simple thing, like a one-hour time change, as a mom with young kids, like, changes everything. It's crazy. Nap time can't really come soon enough for this mama. I am so excited to try the pumpkin one because I love everything pumpkin. Yum. Mm. <laughs> so the noises that you hear is our basement. They're making progress on it. It's gonna turn into a room really soon. The grown man with the donut mustache. It's impossible not to with the powdered donut. One. I know, but it was the Bavarian cream. You love those kind, don't you? Did I get it right? Mm -hmm. You did a nail gun, buddy. Hey, good. good job. I love that they let us help them. The kids are working on their handwriting while Laura is playing with some cranberries. Good job. <laughs> Okay, I have an appointment today. Okay, so I'm here at the dentist today, and I love getting my teeth clean. It just feels good to me. I know that a lot of people hate it, though. All right, buddy, what are you working on? I'm working on my Pinewood Derby car. Ooh, are you designing it? Mm -hmm. I remember doing this as a kid with my dad. You get a block of wood and some wheels and you turn it into a car and then we're gonna race it against other kids. Okay, so what Isaac is gonna do is design the shape of the car that we're gonna cut out. However you want it to look, you gotta cut it right here. Here, huh? Dad, how do you only cut it this? The right shape when it's like that. So we are gonna get the help of the builders. They're gonna let us use their saw to cut the shape of the car out. We already have a saw, Papa gave it to you. So I have a saw that you use with your hands and they have an electric saw that'll just zoop, cut it right off real quick. So we're so lucky to have Chris here because he has the tools and I don't. So this is gonna be a lot easier. This is a jigsaw, right? Mm -hmm. And the way that it works is you can move the wood around the blade to shape whatever design you want. Wow. Yep, so these are the perfect kind of saws for this. Taller. You think you're taller? <laughs> Just on the tippy toes. Um, I think Isaac's faux hawk has ya. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Do you see how it's going up and down? Okay, so watch. You decide where you want it to go and you need to be going straight you need we to not cut off any fingers. Out. We okay. want to keep all those fingers. All right, here we go. Uh. <laughs> <Fail>. <laughs> I uh, started going the wrong direction, so I backed out because I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, that might be a cool fin. That's the perfect <laughs> size of fin. Oh, 
I don't think anyone got cut. So they were cutting out the car and the blade actually broke and snapped and kind of scared everybody. Does that make you nervous? Is it loud? Uh, yeah. Tools are really cool, but they're also a little bit nervous, huh? It's okay, buddy. You're just fine. I'd rather just use the saw. Did that make you a little nervous? Well, I rounded up some eye protection, and I think they're going to try again. Well, this afternoon, the kids and I are studying the Electoral College and kind of the election process in America and learning about how that works and now they're working on coloring in maps about what actually happened with the election last night and just trying to teach them about this process and explain it to them so it makes sense to them this is pretty hard it is hard you got to find the right state and color them in the right color huh so isaac now has to take and put the electoral votes down here and add them up mm -hmm. look you're a dad I was craving quiche, so I made like a homemade like spinach mushroom ham cheese quiche. Luckily the kids all really like quiche too, so should be a crowd pleaser. I'm grateful for my mom and dad. Oh, we love you. I'm grateful for flowers. I am grateful for spices and salsa. Salsa? I am grateful that Thanksgiving is coming because that is my favorite holiday. I'm grateful for geese. Did he say geese? Yes, the plural of geese, the plural of goose is geese. Uh -huh. I thought he was geese. saying Jesus. No, geese. you're saying geeses. Gooses? Geeses. <laughs> Which is just geese. <laughs> oh, what else are you grateful for? Uh flamingos. Flamingos and geese. <laughs> and then uh, Ducks. A lot of birds. Ducks. <laughs> a lot of birds are grateful. Birds. I am grateful that we have made a lot of progress in resolving the hacker situation that we had. We'll tell you more about it another time, but we've made progress with that and I'm so grateful for that. It's not over yet. It's not. But progress is good. I'm grateful for Cubby and Mom and Isaac and Lise. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> well, we're coming to the end of another day, and all that's running through my mind is all the things I didn't accomplish today. There was all this stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to clean our front closet, and I have a bunch of cranberry science experiments I'm wanting to do with the kids, and we just didn't get to it today. And anyway, my sister-in-law reminded me of something that I heard a while ago, and that is that at the end of the day, to not have a to-do list, but a ta-da list. Like, ta-da, I did this. So just writing down the things that you did, because every day there's so much that we do, even if we don't accomplish absolutely everything that we set out to do. So I need to focus on that today and say, you know what? We learned about the election process. Isaac's working on his Pinewood Derby car. We have a healthy dinner, and we did the rest of school, and. You know, lots of good stuff happened today. I snuggled on the couch with the kids and read them a book. And that's the most important thing to me at the end of the day. I hope you guys had a great day and just, I just needed that reminder for me today to focus on what I have accomplished instead of all the things that I still need to continue to doing. Because when I focus on what I have accomplished, I get excited and momentum and have more strength to push on tomorrow. So tomorrow, there's tomorrow. All right, so we have the block and now we just gotta sand it. All right, we gotta get this kid to bed, so we're gonna finish tomorrow with the car, okay? J House App. All right, well, we wanna say something about this whole crazy election that we've been through recently. And can you close your lips like this? Good job, open real big. Strap, you take some lettuce in your hand. You put in some of the goodness. 